I can't believe every iPhone's the same nowadays. Every year, they never change the design, not even a little bit. Hold up, what's this? It's from Apple's official website, what's this? Introducing the all-new 20th anniversary iPhone, a complete design overhaul, 8 terabyte storage, now running on M-series chips, and, and the first ever folding iPhone? Shut up, Apple, just take my money already, just take it. future of technology. We already know there's self-driving cars, AI, and stuff like that, but those things are only gonna get more advanced. And besides, these things aren't even the future anymore. They've basically existed for a while. But other types of technology, such as servers, computers, and cell phones, have been getting developed and innovated since their introduction dates, almost to the point where the differences between an older model and a newer model are completely significant. Like, for example, you can easily compare an old desktop computer from the 20 tens to a mini form factor gaming PC Built during the pandemic. Like there's a giant difference between the two. And technology is going to continue getting developed like this till the suspected end date of the world where, oh, AI takes over the world, which I doubt will happen. And I want to talk about one of the types of technology that's going to get through this change in the future. That is personally my favorite type of technology. You probably know Apple, the company that made the revolutionary smartphone iPhone, which has been in development since 2007, going through many generations, such as the iPhone SE, iPhone mini, iPhone plus, iPhone pro, all the way up to the present day, which is the iPhone 17 pro, an iPhone Air. But how is Apple going to continue developing the iPhone after the iPhone 17? Since many people are complaining that the iPhone's design is basically the same every year, and some features are like features that Android phones get have had for years, maybe even a decade. Well, I'm going to tell you a few rumors and leaks that I've heard about the foreseeable future of the iPhone, from the iPhone 18 all the way up to possibly the 20th anniversary of the iPhone, or later. And I'll also tell you what I think Apple will change, personally. So, uh, yeah. Ugh. Well, I've te teleported to my laptop with some of the information that I can look at. So, we all know the iPhone 18 is going to have the new A20 chip, but it will still look exactly the same as last generation, except the front camera is probably going to get updated to have 240 FPS slow motion, and the rear camera is going to have 240 FPS slow motion in 4K. And alongside that, 8K resolution. Because 8K is extremely underrated, especially with the average iPhone user. And besides, I'm pretty sure Android devices could already record 8K since the 2020s. And for the 18 Pro, I think they should have, I think it should have 8K slow-mo. Probably only up to 120 FPS due to technical limitations. For lower resolutions, it should have up to like 1080p HD and 480 FPS, which will be super slow-mo. That way we can get even more epic shots. Oh, you'll need a lot of storage for that. Which is why I think Apple will increase their, you know, storage options for the iPhone 18 and 18 Pro and later. Giving eight, the iPhone 18 users an option for one terabyte and iPhone 18 Pro users an option for two terabytes that iPhone 17 Pro Max users have already had. And I think the 18 Pro will probably use the XD DR color space and during screen recording on all models they should have like you know a front camera overlay which allows people to make conference like videos using simple technology and also all models should have faster USB speeds better Wi-Fi connectivity and while the phone might not be ready for 6G yet it'll probably have a way faster 5G variant making cellular data blazing fast iPhone Airs I'm not really concerned about, considering this is literally the first time Apple has released an Air version of the iPhone, and we don't know what the future of it will be yet, considering it just released. But I'm pretty sure the iPhone Air is probably going to eventually have a stereo speaker and probably a better battery life, that way we don't have to use a battery pack to make it last longer. Now the iPhone 19, I'm not really sure about. I know it's probably going to have an A21 chip on it. I mean, my main guess is that it's probably going to have a better telephoto camera in its main camera, like up to 3x telephoto on the consumer level iPhone, which means increasing the megapixel. Meanwhile, the iPhone 19 Pro gets 
two additional cameras. For example, a macro camera that lets you do extreme telephotos and possibly a VR180 camera where if you pair two iPhone 19 Pros, you get full 360 video for Apple Vision Pro users to view, making it have five cameras in the back too, which I think would look amazing. And you know, the iPhone Air, another upgrade, you know, A21 Pro chip, all that other fancy stuff. But now, let me get to the real deal. 20 years of the iPhone, yeah! So the iPhone 20, also known as the 20th anniversary iPhone, is going to be a complete change design overhaul. The chipset might also use the M series chips that the MacBooks already use. And the new iPhone 20 screen will have rounded edges, or in layman's terms, the phone is rumored to be an all glass phone. Like the Samsung Galaxy Edge before it became boring, and it will have pixels over the dynamic island, which will still be covered up by the dynamic island. Oh, so the change is going to be useless. I'm pretty sure the iPhone 20s will be ready for 6G connectivity in the 2030s, which will be faster than 5G networks, even their advanced 5G networks, and the wireless charging might be upgraded to Qi 3 standards. And of course, the main event, the iPhone 20. Fold, or the iPhone Ultra. Apple's first folding iPhone has actually been rumored for years. In fact, it's actually been in development for years, but we have no actual evidence as to whether this is true or not, as there have been no leaks, just rumors. I'm pretty sure Apple's trying to keep this one top secret. So I'm scared it's going to end up in the same place as the Apple car did, but my belief is that it's going to have the most durable folding display on a folding smartphone along with the most durable folding mechanism within a folding smartphone with enhanced dust resistance, enhanced water resistance, and overall enhanced dur durability. And the iPhone Ultra will be the first folding phone to have foldable glass because all the folding phones in the world have plastic for their folding counterparts. But with Apple, they innovate and this new folding glass will be protected by Ceramic Shield 3 Pro. Now, Ceramic Shield 3 will be for all iPhone 20 models, but Ceramic Shield 3 Pro will be limited to the iPhone Ultra's folding display for maximum durability. And uh, I think that's it, really. So that's the iPhone, really. Apple has been developing the iPhone for more than a decade and will continue to develop and upgrade the iPhone over the years, even if the changes are unnoticeable. And most people won't care about the upgrades because the iPhone is the best-selling smartphone and has been since its introduction in 2007. But besides all that, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think Apple needs to change for the iPhone 18 and iPhone 20 down below. And, uh, Apple? We'll be waiting for the iPhone 6, 7. Hey! Hey, 6, 7! Subscribe today!